see how many here. This may seem like a typical lesson in any given preschool, but what little Rose Barker is doing is anything but typical. Rose has autism, and just a few short months ago, this would have been unthinkable. This is a child that would have a blank stare and run from other people if she didn't know them. I would have to literally carry her up the stairs with me if I just went from one level to another. Today, Rose is reading, smiling, and interacting like never before. And this could have helped make the difference. As part of a clinical trial, the Barkers added a packet of cholesterol to Rose's diet twice a day. And that simple act may have had a profound effect. It's possible that too low a cholesterol could be one of several causes of autism uh, affecting a subgroup of children with autism. So Dr. Eugene Arnold of Ohio State University Medical Center launched an initial study with a simple premise. Knowing that proper levels of cholesterol are essential for brain development and function, he wanted to see if increasing cholesterol could reduce symptoms in autism. And in Rose's case, at least, the results were clear. Personally for us, the cholesterol has changed our life. Um, it was exactly what she needed. Her development started almost immediately. She smiles again. She runs. She has awesome motor skills. Now, Arnold and his team at Ohio State's Nysonger Center are expanding their study in conjunction with the National Institutes of Health. But even as they add patients to their trial, they do so with a word of caution. It's very important uh, that we not just rush out and try to give everybody with autism cholesterol because for some of them it may be harmful. But for some, like Rose, it could be a simple answer to a remarkably complex condition. That's the end. That's the end. That's right. At Ohio State University Medical That's Center, this is Clark end. Powell yeah. reporting. Do it again. Right. Do it again? Okay. <laughs>